say the next step is to add a table to your site, uh, the post that you've decided, or the page, whichever you choose. Um, and we're going to do that by coming up here. You can see that the icon for the tables that you added is here in your text editor now. And we're going to just insert a table. Now, the, how big you want your table is, is where you decide that here. Um, personally, I found in a WordPress theme that three across works pretty well. So I'm going to do three columns going across. And I like to do um, a, a row with an image and then a row under that with a link to the product. If you wanted to have like two rows of images, then you would make four rows here to put those all in. But I'm going to leave it like that just to show you how. So insert. <clears throat> okay, and now you can see this crazy thing is our table. It's going to be what our products are going to go into. So to do that, you're going to need to have downloaded images of your products and you want to get the, uh, the link, your affiliate link to those products. I've gone ahead and done all that already. <clears throat> so we're just going to start going here. Okay, I'm going to click the insert and I'm going to choose a file. Okay, and I've got all my images right here. Um, open. Oh, and upload. Okay, and as this uploads, okay, you can see it's a tomato cage there. Um, I'm going to go down here, and right here, I'm going to insert my affiliate link from Amazon. And I've gotten all my things already. Oh, heck, I can't. I think it was this one. I guess I should have giving them labels so I knew which was which. Okay, and so I'm going to go right here. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to control V and stick my affiliate link in there. Now I'm going to choose thumbnail on this. Now, if you want it just to be a white background with just your image, leave it just like this. However, if you want to have a border around your image, you can add a caption here and it will create a border. Okay, now all I'm going to do is click the insert post here, okay, and kablamo, let's go down here, there is the first area. See, now you can see this, um, the area around the, the image and the caption are right there. Now, right here, I'm going to write buy tomato cages, okay? Now, because this is such a cool little plugin, you can come here and use all of, whoops, use all of your text editor to do this. I want to center that word and I want to make it a 14 point font and then I'm going to link it directly to that product or you could link it to the category of the product at Amazon and it's and that's done. Now to do the next one you just have to come over here and click around until you get yourself in the next cell. It's, it's kind of crazy but there there, okay. So now I'm going to add another image. Okay, choose another file, tomato ladder, open, upload. I'm going to grab my code while, I think this is the second one I grabbed. Copy. Okay, now see there's the tomato ladder. I'm going to come down here, insert my affiliate link. Um, and I'm going to do this one without the, uh, the caption so you can see what it looks like. Insert post. Okay, now see, it's just the image. It doesn't have the outline around it. It's kind of a personal preference, whichever one you like. Buy tomato ladders. Again, I'm going to highlight the text, and then I'll be able to use uh, all the things in my text editor, and then create a link. Ba bam And I like to open them in new windows, and insert. Okay, I'm going to finish this up, and then I will show you how it comes out in later. Okay, I've gotten all the posts, all the uh, the products and the, the links in here, and now I'm looking at the preview, and this is what it's going to look like. You've got products here, a link to the product here, and either whether they click on the, link, the image or the link, that's how it's going to look. So that's a really quick and easy way. Now you could come in here and just type in like buy tomato cages or you know some information and to set up your page so it looks really good. But this is the basic of how to create the storefront.